Hello YouTubers, today's topic of the video, well I won't talk, tell you that right now, let me ask you something, what are you seeing here? These look like Remington 308 Winchester nickel plated brass cartridges, right? Well, at first glance they look like that, but if you look at the head stamp you see RWS 308 Winchester and then you would be thinking well is RWS producing any nickel coated brass you would be wrong I played them myself and in the following video I will show you how I did that the whole reason for this video is I want to have some nickel coated brass even in calibers that um, don't offer nickel plated brass or just from one producer like Remington these are also RWS they these are my 375 Holland Holland cases they are pretty clean but they still need to be uh, wet tumbled with stainless steel pins and while I do that I can torture test these cases these two I will throw them in with the other cases and let them tumble for three hours with the stainless steel medium and I will check if they survive, if they have any blemishes, if the coating uh, got uh, peeled off or something and um, yeah. So in they go alongside with all the other cases, won't show you all of them right now. And of course, five pounds of tumbling media, stainless steel pins. So I don't know if you can see inside of there, but those are 50 cases of 375 Holland and Holland. After rethinking, I threw in 50 more cases of 308 Winchester, which are not plated. I think that I will recognize the plated cases even if the uh, coating went got off mostly so three hours later I will show you the results so now to the part of electroplating brass cases these cases have been tumbled for three hours in my Frankfurt Arsenal wet tumbling system they are clean inside and out my power supply is at 7 volts and I will thread the case onto a screw the flash hole is just perfect to allow the screw to thread into the flash hole it won't damage the flash hole, won't widen it or create a burr or anything. Just so happens to hold it, hold the case without uh, yeah, leaving any spots of clamps on the outside. Then I clamp it into my, well it's difficult freehand, my camera girlfriend is in Stockholm today. On vacation without me with her parents so I have to do it myself <laughs> as pretty much all the time so the left solution I know I know I should use a bipod or something so the left solution is a cleaning solution I mix it myself it's a it's a mixture of um, sodium sodium bisulfate and um, Sodium, um, so basically, basically it's lye and Drano. That's the mixture, and it's um, half a liter, so 500 milliliter, and um, 500 milliliter distilled water, 12 grams of lye, and um, let me think, 30. Four grams of uh, of Drano, 
and that uh, as you can see it draws a lot of current 3.4 amps and it's cleaning the part so you have some residual oils uh, that uh, from from your fingerprints on the part and by doing this um, you basically <coughs> allow the part to be cleaned so now I can remove from the solution and let me see and I clean it off with distilled water so I don't contaminate the other baths and the next bath is actually the nickel nickel sulfite bath so the electrolyte from the nickel plating and I just drop it in there deep enough and for one minute approximately one minute of course <coughs> if you um, stay constant with your uh, amperage and uh, and volts you can um, and the time that you spend in the bath or the the part spends in the bath you can uh, get very accurate results um, I try to time it at one minute that gives me as you can see fairly good looking parts and I have no clue at all how thick this coating is I don't have any measurement tools that go in the microns I mean technically yes but uh, I think we are still in the millionth of an inch um, and um, yeah so I tumbled the nickel cases along with the uh, with the large cases now I've reached a minute uh, put it out of the solution oops and again I just will rinse off the part and repeat rinse and repeat so youtubers the final conclusion these three cases have been tumbled for three hours and they look still pristine and without any blemishes so I think we'll find out how well these hold up. Just setting the mood a little with my background. These are these are from uh, Red Stags. So the 375 Holland and Holland cases uh, coated very well. The inside of the primer pocket did not get coated. But um, that's not an issue for me. We will see how well these hold up. I think the the biggest um, wear and tear will uh, happen resizing and um, firing and resizing and firing the cases. And yeah, I will keep you informed how these cases hold up in comparison to the standard brass cases it's no witchcraft doing this uh, everybody can do it I bought the electrolyte from eBay um, for nickel it was 26 euros for gold for a liter and uh, for gold it's ridiculously expensive 540 euros per liter I bought 100 milliliter just for for fun um, yeah, I won't chrome plate these because chrome is too hard, it will ruin my dyes. But nickel is proved to be reliable and uh, it works just fine. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and see you next time. Bye for now.